Hi, I'm Andrew Jenkson and welcome to the Cavern Industry Channel. To another video now I'm in a new 2023 Eldis Mistral Crusader Mistral now what I didn't tell you on if you've seen the other videos of the Tempest and the Kumska Camino 680 I think it was um, these have actually got a long draw bar I might have said this to uh, aid stability on towing so they say and I'm sure it works uh, a bit like Adria do and some of the other continental manufacturers but also the windows have got some darkened tint in them. Now um, years ago 2008-9 this was tried and I think Luna did it on the Deltas and the Clubmans. I was never a big fan of dark windows um, and they looked a little bit too dark but these on the compasses as well do look quite good I think you might agree. Right Mistral, well Mistral name's been around since 1971 uh, when that was the eldest Mistral of course and that was launched as a two berth and it was a traditional end washroom, end washroom, end kitchen, side washroom uh, and, and dinette at the front. Now, um, the Mistral name's been and gone over the years, but it's still around. And one little, little bit of um, uh, well, trivia here for you is that the Mistral name, back in about 1982-83, Adria decided to call one of their model names the Mistral. Eldest kicked off big style, kicked off really much. NCC. I think it was, came in, sorry Mr Adri, you cannot have the Mistral name, because Elvis got there before you. So anyway, that's a bit of trivia for us. So the <laughs> Adri Mistral didn't happen, not in the UK anyway. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Right, I'm going to start off in the front lounge here because, again, um, new upholstery and that sort of thing. Really nice, really comfortable and sat down here, talking to a few people, a few press people, they're not many, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, I think people seem to generally like them. Um, light wood, um, good positive catches, really lovely deep uh, deep roof lockers over here. And what they've done is, they've been, not been tempted to spot a cupboard here in the, in the corner, they've actually left it as a big, massive big cubby hole, which you could shove a coat up there quite easy. Now here, instead of offering it like uh, uh, vinyl plastic, they've actually put like a bit of a covering on it. It, it makes it feel a bit more at market, like a bit of a, a soft touch to it. But anyway. Plenty of vision out of those three windows. Uh, decent sunroof, not as big as you'd probably expect as what Swift fit in theirs. Uh, and also I think uh, Canals as well, and the S-Class. Um, they've got access lockers underneath the seats, which is, a, which is a major plus in my books. And also there's a charger there for charging your phone without having to get your cables out. And your coffee table. Now these don't feel a bit flimsy, but this is a prototype. 
let's excuse them on that. Good LED lighting and again super lockers, plenty of room shelves in some of them. There you go. And generally a very comfortable place to be I would think of an evening. And here you'll have your radio uh, which I presume will be DAB and also the state, uh, not state TV, it's a telecom, it's a telecom. I'm thinking of back in the 80s. Now, no, it's the, uh, um, I, can't, I can't remember off, off the top of my head, but anyway, it's a French one anyway, uh, which looks very much like the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Vision Plus one. Right, now, brilliant lounge, as I say, very roomy. Uh, when it comes to making beds, what I don't like is they still use the slats again i think that's a bit old-fashioned now and if i'm of this price i think slats would could be done away with but anyway not to worry let's go over to the kitchen area i just wonder actually i'm just in the kitchen area now and i've just realized that i'm the only person left here am i complaining no i'm not that means i don't have to see some of the others i don't mean that in a disrespectful way it's just that yeah you know what I mean? you don't get talking or what have you um domestic fridge in this plenty of drawers in it. I do like the fact that these drawers are very very solid and and that thickness of of, um, of worktop as well it does have that very solid feel about it. Um, the Thetford um, oven of course dual fuel and again <laughs> sorry I keep saying this but that Bailey type um, sink which I think is an excellent sink that Elder's using that actually. It really is good. Uh, the Swift one is very good as well. Actually, that big circular one, I think that's excellent as well. These that come out this way, of course, should have known that. Um, obviously, the extract fan there. Um, quite a bit of work top here. And should you not have quite enough, you can use this here. But of course, your telly's going to be here. And there's nowhere to put, um, there's no telly holder on it, no bracket at all. Two main sockets there, of course you've got your microwave there, again cupboard storage above, um, more storage beneath there. And what I do like, of course, with an 8 foot vine, I mean I'm not a big fan of 8 foot vines because I don't want to be towing them all the time. Because I used to go down some really back, back tracks with a van on to sites and uh, and yeah, I could land myself in a bit of bother with one of these. But um, very spacious. Right, let's go into the bedroom. Oh darling, let's go into the bedroom. Let's, let's quit those silly remarks. Right, um, as I mentioned before, drawers underneath this wardrobe is two, obviously. One either side of the bed with the fix, uh, with the fix, with the um, freestanding table in there. Um, fixed bed, which transfers, of course. This slides out. Now, this does, what I do like, it goes in quite a lot. So, in the daytime, look at all this room you've got. It really is good and oh, well done to Elders because they're still using curtains and I still think that's a great idea. and they're heavy good quality curtains believe me. Um, I think here for a TV bracket and socket and stuff um, I'd say loads of space loads of space love it. Wardrobe here a little bit small I mean they usually are but this is quite small but uh, yeah be all right be all right for my stuff because I travel light as I said before it's the wife that needs a bigger wardrobe than me. I'll take this, you never know when you might need it. A little, so there, put your, your cup on. As I say, I'm the last one here, so if somebody comes barging in saying, come on, get out, don't be surprised. Big mirror there, I like a big mirror, and the light above it. Now, coming to the washroom, there's a window there, of course, which is good. Um, and again, with that window, uh, it doesn't let a lot of light in here. That roof vent at the top could do it shooting across the uh, shower room bit I think because it's quite dark quite a surprise actually how dark it is it shouldn't be that dark um, good sink of course storage underneath there and also where the mirrors are I've just got my ugly mush on there and put that there that nice shuts okay again the exclusive radiator colours um, it does look grey actually I think I said black in one of the videos but it's not, it looks grey, the fashionable colour, or as my friend says, that's not a colour. Why it's not a colour? Yeah, right, okay. Anyway, we'll beg to differ. But 
overall not bad um, again more storage up the top here I mean it's quite narrow don't get me wrong it's quite narrow but you know how many people do you want in here don't go into that well let's do a summary I'm quick right it's been quite a busy afternoon here actually and there's only a few vans I mean that's all they've got really ready uh, which is rather a shame loads of camper vans here all ready to to roll all sold apparently um, so what do I think? I think the Mistral is a great van um, because uh, I used to write for a magazine called Scottish Caravan which I really do more than the loss of that magazine. Um, I really do at times. Uh, I did lots of things for that magazine and um, I had some great fun as well. And we had one, uh, we had a Mistral when it came out I think on review and you used it. Those are the days when you could get, get a caravan from a manufacturer and use it. Um, and um, we we found it, we used it in winter time and we found it was a great van to have, lots of space. The only thing of course, okay, you can't stretch out on the front end and it is a little bit tiny up there. But you've got a decent kitchen, not bad worktop, especially with the extra worktop space there. You've got that extra long drawer bar for towing stability, um, uh, privacy windows on the sides there which actually have got a nice tint and not too dark and generally this is a cracking tour for two people and if you had some people to stop overnight that can soon be made up into a double bed okay it's not the biggest in the world but it doesn't need to be would it it's not going to be there forever our men um and of course we'll never forget this is that you've got the partitioning which is a concertina thing that floats across so the mistral uh, with its new profile, new body shell, new chassis, long draw bar, etc, 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 is a nice looking van. Looks, you know, the Buccaneer looks a nice van. This is like the, dare I say it, the poor man's Buccaneer. There, I think I said it. I probably shouldn't have said that really, but I think it is a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not decrying it, because I think the Crusader is a great van, which I'll just give you a quick one on that. The Crusader name came around in 1976. And when it did, it was a GLP front and back end, and I think the roof was as well. I'm not sure, I can't just the old memory banks playing up, but it was a stunning looking caravan and came with, I think, walnut wood veneer and a fridge and a heater and hot water, which were big things and mains electrics. And I think it had tinted glass too. Yeah, well, there you go. So from 76, it's been around a long time as Crusader, and it's well known again against caravanners who like luxury and like a cut above. So does the 2023 Crusader press the right buttons? Well, it does for me, because the old Crusader from last year had starting to look tired. I think they needed to update them, and they have done big, giving it this profile. It does look a smart Torah. And will your neighbours be jealous if it's on your, on your um, driveway? Of course they will be. If they're not, they should be. But no, overall, it's a nice van. Yeah. So, see you on the next video. Please keep subscribing. Thanks for all those subscribers and thanks for all the great comments. I've got some really nice people coming on, loving the videos, all that type of thing. Um, and some really fantastic people are really following me. And we've got the October show coming up next month. So, again, if you see me, I'm going to be wearing my, my YouTube channel top. Um, uh, and I'll be walking around that like a, yeah, so anyway, you'll see me. Uh, and if you're subscribing, if you're not subscribed and you've watched the channel, come and say hello and, uh, and tell me what you don't like and what you do like. Hopefully, you do like. See you on the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like them. Please don't forget to press the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.